Here in Hermosa Beach, you got to have a good set of wheels, a surfboard to catch the next wave, a leash to walk the family pet, and a ball to pound in the soft sand. Women's Professional Volleyball Tour. And welcome to Hermosa Beach, just south of Los Angeles for the Reebok Hermosa Beach Open. And good afternoon, everybody. Along with Maria Barnes, I'm Drew Goodman. Welcome to one of the original beach towns in the country, one of the great beach volleyball towns in the United States. And so far this weekend, the story has been upsets. And the surprise team, a rookie, Lisa Arce, and a veteran, Marie Anderson, have moved all the way to the semifinals. And in doing so, have knocked off one of the top teams on the beach twice, the team of Lori Cotis Forsyth and Barbara Fontana. That's right. They played so well for a young team. I mean, Lisa Arce's playing her first full summer on the beach. At this time last year, she was selling concessions at the Hermosa Open. She and her partner, Marie Anderson, have played so well. They caused Forsyth and Fontana to have their worst finish all year long. Lisa Arce's just a strong, poised, confident, intelligent player. And the mainstays on the beach are top seeds, the top players in the world. The team of Liz Masakayan and Carolyn Kirby have rolled along. Now remember, a couple of events ago in South Carolina, they lost in the finals to Fontana and Forsyth. They battled back in the next event and won in San Diego. How are they playing this weekend? You know what? They're back on their game. They're playing very well. Masakayan is a bit under the weather. It's hot out here. The sand is deep. But if there's any team that can handle it because they're so quick and st so strong, it's Kirby and Masakayan. I've noticed Kirby and Masakayan kind of serving has been really especially spectacular this weekend and they're both hitting the ball and setting and passing while their ball control seems right on. We have a great afternoon for beach volleyball in a perfect spot, Hermosa Beach in Southern California. We'll come back on Prime Network and get you caught up with semi-final action. Prime Network's presentation of the Coors Light Pro Beach Volleyball Tour is brought to you by Coors Light. When you want a taste that goes the distance, reach for the silver bullet, keep on moving. By Gatorade, the thirst quencher for that deep down body thirst. And by Reebok. Get it moving. And the silver bullet has the taste to keep it moving. Cool's light. Naturally brewed for a taste that goes down easy. Cool's light. Keep on moving. is for all those commercials that show women content with seeing their reflections in dinner plates or coffee tables. Serious performance shoes from Reebok. Available at over 400 foot action stores nationwide. When you come out to play and a thirst comes on, pull out the stops. Gatorade Thirst Quencher. To quench your deep down body thirst. To quench it to the core. Absorbed faster than water. The optimal formula. To quench it now. Refresh your body. <laughs> Nothing works harder. Faster. Better. Scientifically tested. Athletically proven. To kick your thirst. Gatorade Thirst Quencher. For that deep down body thirst.
and welcome back to a beautiful afternoon in Southern California. We're on Hermosa Beach. Drew Goodman along with Maria Barnes. The road to the semifinals for the top seeds, Carolyn Kirby and Liz Massakine, easily until they met uh, Jackie Campbell and Charlotte Roach. They defeated them 15-8 and then 15-9 over Wendy Fletcher and Marla O'Hara, a couple of teams that have had success this year on the beach. And the biggest surprise on the beach thus far our other semi-finalist, veteran Marie Anderson in her sixth year, and basically a rookie, Lisa Arce, have made it to the semi-finals. Two victories over Barbara Fontana and Lori Cotis Forsyth have led them to the semi-finals. Two of the biggest upsets all year. And we pick up the match with Liz Masakine and Carolyn Kirby in control. That hits the net, so it'll be a side out. And what a great quarterfinal it was. Great victory over Barbara Fontana and Lori Cotis Forsyth, a team that uh, a couple of events ago shocked Kirby and Massacayan in South Carolina at Myrtle Beach and won a tournament there. Oh, Kirby, oh, man. You could see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> what a set from Massacayan right on the net, 50-50. 13-2. Carolyn, 13-2. Carolyn Kirby. From Brookline, Massachusetts. Now making her home in San Diego. That's down in the sand, an ace. Almost like a tennis player. She swung it wide and got it down in the sand. 14-2, match point. I think Kirby and Mass kind of picked up on the fact that Marie Anderson is fatigued. They're going at her, and this is just a great serve. The ball drops as soon as it goes over the net. No way! Good swing that time by Marie Anderson. Kirby couldn't dig it. 14-2. You know, in talking to Forsyth and Fontana after that quarterfinal match where they lost to Anderson and R.C. Lori just had respect for the way that they played. She said they played their hearts out. She said Marie Anderson was digging everything. There was nothing we could do about it. And uh, she seemed happy that this team had done well. And uh, it seems to me that R.C. and Anderson have the respect of the other players on the tour. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. R.C. and Anderson had a good run a couple of weeks ago in San Diego. And they've really expanded upon that here at Hermosa Beach. Through the block, Carolyn Kirby. And it's a pretty formidable block. Lisa Arce able to get up, and she presents, a, as I said, a formidable block in the net. It's those arms that hang down to her knees. Yes. But for a large athlete, she also moves very well. Touches yes, a lot does. of balls. Nice, delicate shot there, Marie Anderson. You could hear the call from R.C. As I mentioned earlier, Marie Anderson has a lot of confidence in R.C. She was uh, an All-American at Berkeley, but also an academic All-American. She's a very bright woman and a very bright player. Tough serve. What a pass that time by Kirby. And then through both Anderson and R.C. That was vintage Carolyn Kirby. A great pass and then scrambling out of the sand to hit the winner. I think this deep sand that we're playing in here in Hermosa Beach is advantageous to Kirby and Massakine because they're both so quick and so strong. Match point again, number three. This is well off the net. Masakayan puts it away. There it is, 15 to 3. Congratulations, moving along to yet another final. Carolyn Kirby and Liz Masakayan stick around when we come back to Hermosa Beach. Highlights of our other semifinal between the team of Deb Richardson and Denny Schubert Knoop against Elaine Roquet and Gail Castro. That when we return to Hermosa Beach in Southern California.
At Hammond Ford Chrysler Plymouth Dodge, we're in the swing of spring as we drive hard to reach record-setting sales for May. At Hammond, we know to get more sales for us, we have to offer more for you. That's why we're bringing in carrier after car carrier of additional new and used cars and trucks, including six of the top ten best-selling vehicles in America. This means not only a huge selection, but also a continued goal of prices 300 less than the competition for the same exact model. It just makes sense. Before you buy theirs, price ours at Hammond Ford Chrysler Plymouth Dodge. A few money-saving minutes from anywhere. Several months ago, I was in a real bind, financially, and I needed a quick loan. I dropped into Ready Cash Pawn Shop and they helped me out with a substantial loan on my jewelry. They'll even let you renew the loan with the payment going towards the interest and the balance. Drivers in the hottest cars take on North America with SCCA Trans Am Road Racing. Sunday night at 6.30 on HSE. We are back on Hermosa Beach in Southern California. Eighth time the WPVA has stopped in Hermosa along with Maria Barnes. I'm Drew Goodman. Here's the road to the semifinals. Out of the winner's bracket for our third seed, Gail Castro and Elaine Roquet. They have gone clean through this tournament. An impressive win over Monique Oliver and Gail Stammer, a team that has played very well in the last couple of events. They won 15 to 12. And then the only loss for Marie Anderson and Lisa Arce in this tournament, courtesy of Gail Castro and Elaine Roquet. And they will match up with another veteran team, Deb Richardson and Denny Schubert Knoop. And they have had to come through the contenders bracket after losing to Lucy Hahn and Tiffany Anderson in a great match, 15-13. They've battled back and arrived here finally with a 15-8 win over Wendy Fletcher and Marla O'Hara. And we go down to center court and pick up the action. A close match between Schubert Knoop and Richardson and Gail Castro and Elaine Roquet. Hi, hi, over her. Come on in! Oh, great dish. Cut shot. Elaine Roquet, marvelous play. We were just talking about how Elaine Roquet loves to use shots, and there was a perfect example. For somebody that is battling fatigue, Elaine Roquet really rising to the occasion, both figuratively and literally. 14-14, seven straight points, and now, obviously, the momentum with Elaine Roquet and Gail Castro. Come on, Dad, watch room. That's going to go wide, 15-14, eight straight points, and a much-needed timeout for Richardson. And Denny Canoop, they must be wondering what on earth is going on. A little bit of a breakdown in their ball control. But also, I mean, you have to give credit to Catherine Roquet. They're keeping the pressure on with tough serving and just a strong side-out game. Hey, we've got something new for you coming up in future Prime Network broadcast of the Women's Pro Beach Volleyball Tour. It's called the WPVA Beach Network. If you've got a question or perhaps a videotape of you and a friend participating in volleyball and, and you want to ask a, a question or show off your skills, you can uh, send us uh, all of those letters and tapes to WPVA Beach Network at Prime Network, 5251 Gulfton, Houston, Texas, 77081. Is this your concoction, Maria? <laughs> Yes, it is, and uh, we need to remind them to keep it clean. You know, we just want some things yes. about skills or... Um, yes, we just want volleyball on tape, exactly. nothing else. Okay. And it needs to be on VHS. There you go. So send it to us. Let's get back courtside. <laughs> Tough serve. Get hit! Come on! Big hit. Another big hit, driven Good ball, ball and Roquet tried to... Come on, Elevated, could not. Richardson. I think Jenny was just pretty excited to have a nice nectar set right on the net. Yeah. <laughs> She's been able to hit just about anything today. Richardson long, two service errors back to back. That does not help. 
No, it certainly doesn't. They need to keep the pressure on Castro and Roque at this point. I mean, all of the momentum and advantage is with Castro and Roque right now. Roque taking the line on both players. They're blocking. That's a good set. Good set by Canoe. It's a great reach by Deb, too. You can see her just kind of hang in the air, reach really high to get up and over Roque, who's one of the best blockers on tour. Deb Richardson, so vocal on the court, so focused, trying to fire up her teammate to get even. Deb's up, high line, high Dale. Come on, come on. Good up. That was behind the antenna. No, I'm, yeah! forgive me. Oh. That was good. Castro thought it was behind the antenna. We're even at 15. What a tremendous scrappy play by Knoop and Richardson. I mean, I cannot believe she was able to keep that ball in play and inside the antenna. We'll be back. This epic semifinal will continue after this. Mosa Beach, the great semifinal continues between Richardson and Knoop and Roque and Castro. and coming out a great time for Deb Richardson. Watch how she just gets up and over tight and closes off at the net. Great block. Look how she reaches out with her left hand. And another match point, the first in a while for Knoop and Richardson. She's a high cross. Ooh. Again. A shot just out of the reach of Denny Canoe. A high cross shot called. What exactly is that, Maria? A high cross shot just means to go cross court and high or deep. Well executed there. 15-16. Yeah. Again, Roque and Castro trying to get even. Come on. She's up. Hey, Partially deflected, but too much giddy up on the swing by Deb Richardson. Elaine Roquet has got to be exhausted at this point. I mean, she came into this match fatigued. She's played very well, just very steady. She's been running after a lot of balls, moving, hitting a lot of balls. Nothing else. They've worn out their sunblock. <laughs> and so have we. That's a side out. 
We haven't seen an unforced error in a millennium. This actually reminds me of the way Castro and Roquet normally play Fontana and Forsyth. They usually have long, steady matches like this. Here's an opportunity. There it is, 16 16. Tied again. A frustrating play for Deb Richardson. She was right in position to dig the ball, but used one hand. You must use two hands when digging the ball to have any control at all. Somebody might place odds on whether we get a final in before nightfall. Astro going to serve. Uh, a very slow moving, steady match here between these two teams. But it's been fun. It's been yeah, a great yeah. match. 16 all. Gail Castro to serve. Yeah. Ace! 48th ace of the year for the tour's leader, Gail Castro. What a time for it. 17 16. 17 16. Gail Castro's got to be happy with this. A much needed point. Just a tremendous serve. The ball just dropped. Denny thought for sure that ball was out. She's staring at the line. Let's take another look at this serve and see if, in fact, it was good. Uh, I think the line moved. It looked good to me. Tough to tell. Yes, it did. That was a great serve right on the line. The ball hits any part of the line. It is good. Timeout. Gail Castro from Carlsbad, California. And she puts a lot of miles on her car every week to train with Elaine Roquet because Elaine lives in Malibu, a couple hours apart. And they train, right, you know, a half a mile from here. So, you know, she's driving an hour and a half to practice every day. That's quite a commute to work. A lot of times she says, I'm eating my dinner in the car, heading back down to Carlsbad. Her father played for the Hollywood Stars, professional baseball. So she gets her athleticism from him. He always wanted a son and he never got one, so Gail is his son. <laughs> Quite an athlete. In fact, her husband, Larry, played college football at Utah State. He's a defensive back, running back. Nobody! That's long! There it is! Gail Castro and Elaine Roquet in one of the best matches of the year. Trailing 14 to 8 of 1, 18 to 16. They will celebrate, recuperate, and then in the finals take on Liz Mastakian and Carolyn Kirby. Oh, what a match. Here is championship point. Deb Richardson a little strong. About a foot beyond the line. Boy, they battled and battled. And finally, an error. And courtside with Gail and Elaine is our Maria Barnes. Maria, take it away. A record 106 side outs, a new WPVA record, a 90-minute match. You were down 14-8 at one point. When did you finally say, hey, we're still in this? At 14. At 14, I had visions of winning 16-14. So I never thought we were ever going to lose. I just knew we had to hang in there. Elaine, you were fatigued coming into this match. Do you have anything left for Kirby and Masakayan? Well, we're going to go refuel, and hopefully that will get into our system. But uh, I think we just need to rest, and we'll be fine. We'll be ready to go. I feel like this was a much-needed win for you guys. Yeah, definitely. It was... You know, we needed to be back here again. We know how to do it. We just, we needed to prove it to ourselves. All right, Gail and Elaine, good luck to both of you. We have an exciting match coming up against Kirby and Masakayan. Back to you, Drew.
All right, Maria, thanks very much. Time to check our Gatorade play of the semifinals at 13 serving 14. Elaine Roquet with that floater trying to get even. They had scored five consecutive points to this juncture. And look at the dig coming up by Elaine Roquet to elevate the ball. And then she scrambles out of the sand to hit the winner. She gets even at 14. They go on to win 18-16. That is our Gatorade play of the semifinal.